Back inside, a smart Araneta Coliseum sa pagpapatuloy ng bakbakang Bad Blood, Petron kontra Talk and Tex. Speaking of Bad Blood, ah, ba? Mark Mugen Strugel, Strigel rather, abangan natin at the half, pabanatan si Richard De Rosario. Ay, hindi pala. Malamang ikaw banatan, sinira may pangalan niya. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pag nalaman niya, kinanong may pangalan, uupa ka ka niyan. Ito, ayusin ko, ayusin ko. <laughs> With this hard-hitting MMA action sa PXC 39, haharapin ni Mark Mugen Strigel. Uh, Mugen kasi. Strigel. Uh, si The Beast, hindi po si Abueba. Si Yang Yong Kim yan ng Korea para sa featherweight title September 14 po yan. This coming Saturday sa Inares Sports Arena sa Pasig City. Mapapanood sa Action TV kinabukasan September 15. Buy your tickets now. 35-30, Petron takes it away from Talk and Tex. Pero hindi sila makakapitalize dahil nabitin yung layup na yun. Anthony kasama si Carry Aban. Peak and Alapag, kalaban niya yung sinalanete, Fajardo, Lutz, Lassiter, and Kramer. Heavily. As Jimmy ran into a brick wall. Wala ka nga naman pupunta. 5'8", ito si Jimmy Alapag, sumalpok to sa 6'10", na Jumar Fajardo. Lutz has only hit one triple so far here in the go Governor's Cup. Looking to penetrate, spinning in the lane. But a kick out pass niya, ninakaw ni Alapag. Anthony sa kabilang dulo. We'll have a touch there. Oh, 35-32, it is still Petron by three points. Largest of lead of the game was only seven in quarter number one. Lassiter forcing his way yes. up against Sean Anthony. Exactly, he really forced his way there. You, you can see that um, Marshall Lassiter believes that he can get through Sean Anthony. Remember, these two guys were actually teammates before. If Marshall was playing the wing, Sean Anthony is playing big. So that means that uh, they were with power. Alapag. Step back three. Oh, good. Ali Peak tracks it down. Jimmy, hop step and a steal by Lutz. Lassiter makes a big Well, guys, really helping out with that second unit. Para dito, something good. Lassiter and the net is both of them really helping out. On the other side, it's with Ali B. Ooh, big pick from Gary. That's an offensive foul. That's the second illegal pick given up by Target Next in this game. Kanina si Alice Ali Gabe si Gary. As we take a look at this Kawasaki Rousing Fast Break, brought to you by Rouser135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. That's another turnover, the one that you saw right there. And the illegal pick earlier. That's been a problem para dito sa Petron. They've got seven at the moment. Seven turnovers, and there's only three on the side of Petron. So that's four extra possessions that you're giving away to the other side. Mahardo a little too quick on that release. Sa tropa na naman ng bola. Alapag dumps it down low. RV Carey spinning a pass to Alisaini. That's a funny Paradito Geraba. He didn't uh, miss it by an, uh, by an air ball early in the game. And like you said, you know, he shoots better than that and he proves us correct there. He is 4 of 6 now from the field. As Lassiter is in trouble. Lanete has to pull the trigger. Oh! The off-balance jumper is good! Yeah, he's playing really well. Chico Lanete, that's 7 points. May have gotten away with the travel, but no whistle. And he went straight to the basket. Nice teardrop on his part. This time around, Alusini gets the clean pick. Pero <laughs> Lanete recovers for the block. And Alusini could not believe it. How can a point guard block him? You know what I'm saying? Here we Let's see if he has a beat. First of all, it's offense at the point of Chico Lanete. That is a teardrop. And this one, they have had a teardrop out of Laba Alusaini's eyes right there because he was just blocked by a guy a full foot shorter than him. 
Lutz off the crossover. Beneath in back. Carry with a rebound. I like the two big guys that we have today. They both sprint after rebounds and then put pressure on the rest of the defense. Look at Tony Mitchell putting pressure on Lutz there. Kabagot on the run gets into Lassiter. Nice sidestep, pero okay. sumobra ng isang hakbang doon. Pag sidestep niya, may, may secondary defender pa kasi. No? As Elijah Millsap will now be checking in. Checking back in, that is. Apat na minuto na lumilipas sa ating second quarter. Mitchell against Lutz. Lutz caught reaching in. Hawak nga naman yung jersey. Ito sa medium too. Ponacher attacking, kicking out Papunta kay Castro. Five to shoot para sa tropa. Harvey with a shot put. That's good. Harvey. Good job on the part of Harvey Carey. He noticed that actually Arwin Santos left him to double on uh, Jason Castro. And he made himself available. That's what's important. 41-36 is the score. Lutz with the leather gets it over. Papunta dito kay Milsap. Milsap tied up. It'll be Fonacher versus Melsap on the jump. Good help on the part of Larry right there. Kita niya dumadan just on his side. Itong si Elijah Melsap able to see the, the, the ball and able to get a good tap. Hindi na tumulong si Fonacher. Dumepensa na lang kagad. I don't even know kung hindi na tapik yun tapos kay Larry napunta. I think that would have been a turn a, a, a turnover. Hindi pa rin pwede dahil siya sasalo. Hindi niya pwede masalo. Hindi niya pwede masalo. Hindi yata si Millsap nagulat in middle, <laughs> kaya secondary tap niya. Saan saan kalabang ko? Less than 7 minutes remaining in this first half. Balik ulit sa pito ang abante ng pitro. Castro to the corner. Mitchell pulls the trigger. Had to put it up against the shot clock. Lutz to Kabagnot. Santos on the trail. Arwin delivers the two points. Four points in the contest para dito kay Santos. Coach Norman Black. Nahanap na natin ang ating full-ton strong drive. Kani-kani na lang to ni si Chico Lanete. Had to put one up against the shot clock. Brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. You can see right there, he actually did not travel. That man. Help Petron to this nine-point lead. Alamo Magut had that shot right there. It's almost um, he, almost every guard right now should have that in their back pocket. That little teardrop because of all the big men and the shot blockers that you'll be facing whatever whatever league you're going to be playing in. Kabagnot from Milsap yes. gets it over to Fajardo. Jimar Fajardo, after yung uh, isang beses na beat siya kanina off the run, has been really making, exerting that effort running up and down both on offense and defense. You know, mag, mag, yun naman ang uh, makikita mo at magugustan mo dito kay Jumar because he really puts an effort into trying to get easy points by running. As Jumar takes care of the first when he begins tayo ng pagkakataw. Makibalita ulit kay Ms. Salgabar. Being in the top spot shows that Patron loves what they're doing but they think that they haven't proven anything yet according to Coach G. Abanilla at ang biggest adversity nga para sa kanila ay ang kanilang mga talo but he feels lucky na hindi naman yon ang rason na nagdududa-duda sila. They still trust each other right now and this game against Talk and Text is a test so solid na ang Patron. Balik sa inyo, Lou. Big test nga naman talaga. They will get that leather back. 47-36. On si nang abante ng pitwan dito. Threatening to break this game wide open. Nangangalahati pa lang ang ating second quarter. Kabagnot on that baseline. Slow to get up. He'll sap the Lutz. He pulls the trigger. Overshoots the mark. Leo Paco. Babalik lamang para sa riba. Wanna share from that left corner pocket, looking to dribble out of trouble. He goes cross court, Papalik and Mitchell. Had him foul right on the face. That'll mean three free throws. But a date of Tony Mitchell. 
Bill Sapp whistled for his second personal. Take another look at this shot. Masyadong mabilis yung release ni Mitchell on that second free throw. Yeah. Well, it hasn't really been trying to be very dominant in terms of getting his shots at 9 attempts so far, but uh, not good free throw shooting on his part. It's just the first of those three to cut this deficit to 10. Nagbalik na si Ali Pink para dito sa tropang Dexters. He is tasked to stop Fajardo. At habang nagpapagpagan sila sa kilalit, nakita ni Kabagdod, kaya-kaya ko to. Alex Kabaklot now with 15 big points. Castro on the move. Dalawa sumalubong. His kick out pass. Not a pick. Will step against three. And Elijah just makes them such a be much better defensive team. Because he's everywhere. If you, if you really look at him, he's, he's pushing people around. He's telling people where to go. And he's always at the passing lane. Fajardo misses from the elbow. Ponacher looking to attack Lutz. Three-pointer on the way, Mitchell, no. Rebound battle, Santos slaps it away from Punisher. It's going to be five on four as Larry is slow to come down. Lutz to the corner, here's a three. Doesn't work, Junmar keeps it alive. Milsa pleading for it. Uh, he will reset this attack. They go deep to Fajardo. Junmar gets the two points. But you really have to put a premium when you have when you have a big man that will take up space in the in the middle. See Junmar Fajardo, he, he takes so much space in there and he tries to make himself available. You might say, pero di naman mataas yung scoring percentage na or yung scoring na. But then, just the thought of having someone in the middle makes the defense compress. Dahil kailangan ka humilp, dahil lalo lalo na 6-9 yun nandun sa ilalim. 30 second timeout requested here by Coach Norman Black. Second time out na niya itong ginagamit dito sa second quarter. Trying to stop this breakaway by Petron as we take a look at how important this matchup truly is. For Petron, Blaze, if, if they win this game, you can almost say that they, they're a shoe in for a, a top two seed. A, a top four seed, rather. And on, on the other side, para sa Tokyo Techs, hindi mo yung talon nila, Magu. Pag manalo sila, they're in the loss column, they're as good as the second place team. But if they lose... They're in the loss column, they're as bad as the ninth place team. Grabe yung talot. Adi disgrasya nga ang tropa dito. Yun ang gustong ipokpok ng Petron as they have now opened up a 15-point lead. 11 to run para dito sa Blaze Boosters. So that 8-day break so far, Jason, at the Petron, coming off an 8-day break after that 5-game win streak, so far, Walang kalawang, walang uh, bumara dito sa kanilang karburado. Yeah, they look sharp. They look sharp. They're a scary team at the moment. They were scary before the break. They're still still scary now. Because right now, 17 na. 17 na ang kalamangan ito, Petro. Kung may rekta pa rin dito, pedal to the metal action inside the big dome. Tatlo at kalating minuto na dito na sa ating second quarter. Ali with a pull up. He could not deliver Millsap for the board. He pushes it hard once again, using that moving pick by Fajardo. Dunle siya tumakbo sa likod ni Jun Mar, no? Very smart player. He's gifted athletically and also very smart. The temperament of Elijah. Ang bagay-bagay dun sa kinakailangan. Time out muna para kina Coach G. Abanilla up 50. Jason here in the Governor's Cup in the very impressive crop of imports that we have. Ito si Elijah Millsap might just have the last laugh dahil sige pare-pareho silang magaganda pinapakita pero yung kanyang team nasa ibabaw ng standings and, and that, as a player that's always very important the most important is trying to win a championship trying to get as many wins more wins than the next guy and so far he has the most wins and you know, like you said very close in terms of stats with the rest of the other imports pero record wise I think they've got a good uh, lead at the moment. And for more, let's send it back to Seth. Elijah Millsap is working closely with consultant Todd Purvis to improve his defense, and that's something he's gained playing in the PBA. The advice that he's going to defense for every game is to respect the defense and the Magoo? Thank you, Sal. So, we can see consultant Todd Purvis. He's a one-on-one. He's a one-on-one. 
like it. Most of Speaking of defense, uh, uh, the defense of the run, very tough. That's only seven points so far given up in this quarter by Petron. Kabagnot, the driver of Petron at this point, gets it to Santos. Oh, go on the finger roll. Arwin asking for the foul. Pocketex looking to push. Foul whistled on Kabagnot. Alusini coming back in para dito kay Ali Peak. Mitchell on the move. Mitchell down the lane, overshoots. Good, good health defense on the part of Doug Kramer. Tubit, lalabas muna kay Alex. Arwin keeps it alive. Yeah, two Bulldogs right there. Paradidas of Petroleum when it comes to rebounding. Doug Kramer as well as Arwin Santos. That's why they have a big share of those rebounds. Two-minute warning on the first half. Tubit, naipit. Lalabas sila kay Milsa. Five to shoot. Elbow jumper. Arwin is there to clean it up. So offensive rebound. Ball moving around. Almost everyone or Rather, everyone actually touched that basketball there. Para dito sa Petron. Jason, this is where Binang abante rito ng Blaze Boosters. Alapag looking to slice into it. And I think the bigger issue, of course, the lead is a, is a huge issue. But you look at the quality of shots. Ang layo ng quality of shots ng dalawang kumpunan. Petron moving the ball around and getting wide open looks. Well, Sap cans another one. Blackjack na. Ang abante rito ng Blaze Boosters. And then you look at the other side. Para sa Talk and Tech. Parang pilit. Yung mga tira nila. Tandaan po natin na bukas na ang deadline para sa submission ng application para sa first ever PBA D-League Rookie Draft sa Adisin Webe ng Setiembre po. Magaganap yan. Pero siguraduhin niyo po, yung lahat ng interesado bukas pumunta dyan sa Libis. 186 E. Rodriguez Avenue, Libis, Quezon City para makapagsubmit na nga ng inyong application. 58-37. Operations Manager Ricky Santos, Boss Willie Marshall, and our good Commissioner Attorney Chito Salud always on hand to oversee the action here. Castro in the lane, kicks it over. Alusini doesn't work. Kabagdot na una na si Arwin. Oh! Santos throws it down. Na butikano pa. What a drought for Adito Sapetron. Or rather for Talk and Dex. They've been scoreless for close to over five minutes now. Close to five minutes rather. And for a team who is averaging 102 points per ball game, pinanggit mo na Jason, hanggang ngayon, it holds true. Seven points pa lang ginagawa nila sa second quarter na to. Yes, and Sapetron uh, taking full advantage. He's playing good defense, getting out on the run. Last time the Talking Tech scored was at the 526 mark. And before that, their last two points came at the 730 mark. So in close to seven minutes, Talking Tech's only two points. And hindi pa rin mabasag ni Alusaini. Yung katahimigan nilang yon. 40 seconds na lang natin dira sa ating first half. Kramer. Traveling. Doug seeing that space to operate. And the Petronovers in attendance. Having fun in the stands, Jason. Kung nung isang gabi nung Manila Classico, nung Ginebra San Miguel, meron tayong mga nakitang banner ng Pure Goods. Itong Petronovers may mga SMB signs pa sila. So they know their history. Isang galing ang kanilang mga prangkisa. Uh, and what a second quarter turnaround. First quarter ended 35-30. It was Petron just up by just five. Now that uh, in this quarter, Petron takes a 25 points. Stock and text limited to only seven. At si Coach G gusto pang manigurado dito. 1.5 second differential between shot clock and quarter clock. They want to try and come up with a last possible attempt. As we remind everybody, na si Mark Yuvin Striegel. Ang gugulpe dito kay Richard Delos. Suit-suit pa kayo, yung katabi niya. Pinapatan na kayo na sando tsaka shorts. 
Kaya, kaya kayo niyan. <laughs> Pagbubuhulin. Itong si Wichard at si Kuya Miko, abangan po natin yan. Di ba? Yun ang kailangan i-request nyo. I-tweet, i-tweet nyo dun sa, ano, dun sa uh, PBA on IBC. Request nyo dahil kung anong request nyo para sa bayan gagawin nila. E nung isang araw, nag-request si Abby Poblador, eh, hinetlak si Miko, di ba? Oh. O, eh, dapat i-request din na ngayon si Strigel, i-hetlak si Miko. Sa lawa, pag-intop nyo na po ito. Ah, i-tweet nyo na po habang may oras pa. Dahil 8 seconds na lang natin tira. Lasseter punches it through. 26 ang tampak ng Petron sa tropang texters dito. What an exercise in futility, Jason. Hey, what a quarter. What a quarter para dito sa Petron. And then, you know, they're, they're in the midst of a five-game win streak and they are showing why they have the longest win streak in the league right now. And having a huge, huge second quarter.